Hey guys, how you doing there? Welcome back, this is Joe, and today I'm here with episode 7, I believe, of a lifeless planet. This is my little playthrough of the game, I guess. It kind of turned into that once I enjoyed the first video. kind of kept playing it, really enjoying it so far. And uh, yeah, if you tune into my last video, you know that we ended up in this area. This is the Abyss. And uh, our little lady friend who we kind of met on this planet, uh, which wasn't so lifeless after all, I guess, uh, has been captured by some kind of tree demon alien species and uh, I guess we are in here to try and get it back and uh, let's see if we can actually get past these little death branches here to make our way around yeah looks like we can that's nice but yeah we're kind of fell into the ground and this is where we are this is like one of the darkest areas of the game like literally no skylight at all and we are completely on the ground and it looks like she's badly wounded with the green blood. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this little sci-fi game. And it looks like I can perhaps maybe jump across there. I'm going to try it now. There we go. Nice landing. I wasn't entirely sure I was going to land on anything there, but my light isn't really doing much at all. But I'm going to try and follow this green path and see where we end up in what I believe is going to be the final part of Lifeless Planet. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but uh, this is looking pretty endgame-ish. There she is, I guess. What is falling? Oh, it looks like we're kind of moving these together. Um, I guess maybe we need to like meet these in the middle. One more push. And another. And uh, let's go this way. Is that going to be the one? There it is, the bridge extends. Oh fuck, there it is, the uh, the alien tree demon. Oh wow, she just got trapped in him? I can't even tell. Oh no! She's turned into Groot or something. What is going on? That is not good. All right. Looks like we can't made our way into some tunnel. Huh, interesting. Wow, look at this fucking area. What is going on? Greenlands ain't lying. This pretty much looks like I just crawled into Groot's arsehole. Let's see what we've got here. She saved my life. She saved the entire planet. The woman I've been following is gone. Well, no, she's still here all around me. Having given herself up to the monster to save this planet, she willingly shared her life, saving cure at her... Uh, she, she willingly sh shared her life-saving cure at her own expense. I'd like to think she's more at home here, emerging with this strange and beautiful ecosystem, than in the company of a lowly human being such as myself. Whatever the case, she saved my life among the countless human beings on this planet. Wow, that's deep. So the woman been chasing all this time to sacrifice herself to kind of inject this uh, her green DNA into this planet, and uh, this is going to help me kind of progress forward. It seems that's a shame, man. 
been chasing it this whole time. But yeah, look at this. What another beautiful area in this game. Like, every area is just so unique, and you wouldn't really expect it, to be honest. But every area I've played has been like visually different from the last. And really enjoyable to play. Trying to figure out which way to go. It's not like I need to head straight over the straight over the top there. So I guess I'm just going to keep pushing forward. And uh, maybe, yeah, it looks like I can actually go on this one here below me and then make my way across, perhaps to try that. I'm going to make it, but I'm going to try. Here we go. There we are. I believe this is the right way. I hope so. I honestly don't know. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, maybe this isn't the right way. Um, oh, it is. I think I can actually get down there, so if I'm really good. There we go, nice. Onto this little platform below me. There it is. Gotta save the game icon, so we're definitely doing something, right? Look at that. Sometimes you just really gotta stop and try and get the cinematic angles on the, on these areas just to make them just to really take them in. Okay, so I guess we're gonna carry on straight forward. You would think there would, there would have been some kind of like um, kind of mineral to scan in this area. Maybe there is, maybe I've just completely missed it. Nothing yet. I know I've not gotten them on because there's a steam achievement for it, so I've probably missed some in other levels. Which is a shame, because I've done a little bit of exploring. I guess following these trees is um I don't think there's any really benefit to running on the tree than there is on the ground, it's the same. You know, you're not gonna get hurt by touching the ground, I don't think, or anything like that. So now I've got a little archway here, doesn't really look like anything significant about it, it's gotta head in this direction. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. Maybe that's where we need to head up to. And judging by these platforms on the right. Definitely looks like it's the way to go. Thought I saw something shining, but I didn't. Alright, let's try and get up here. Looks like I can actually jump on it from this section here. Uh, let's go on to this one, it's like it's close to everything. There we go. Pretty straightforward. I think I've got this platforming uh, mechanic down now. Gotta really space out these jumps and time them just right. Ah, there it is, nicely done. Oh wow, there's some kind of uh, tower over there as well, it seems. Some kind of satellite. And in fact, it looks like that's the only way we can go at the moment, so let's head over in that direction. More jumps. Hmm, can I make that, do you reckon? Yeah, I can make that. There we are, nicely done, nicely timed. There we go. Alright, we're here. Looks like there's something glistening on the left here I can investigate. It's like a little document. Portal. The other portal does lead back to Earth, but hundreds of years in the future. What? The portal to this planet was a one way transport mechanism. 
As we discovered following our initial arrival, we originally assumed it would work like any doorway that we could return through the same portal device at our convenience. This was not the case. Thankfully, we eventually discovered a second portal, the departure portal, leading back home. This two portal system was actually very efficient for transport purposes and we developed our settlements appropriately to regulate travel back and forth as necessary. But what we didn't comprehend at first was the lost time encounter through the portals. Our transport happens quickly, time on Earth and on this planet are not in sync. We soon realised a week on this world was a month back on Earth. When the portals failed, this time disparity became great. When the arrival portal malfunctioned and killed so many people, we became free to use the departure portals to return to Earth. Over time, we started to see images we did not recognise on the other side. There were strange, towering structures, much more advanced than anything we'd ever seen before. Some believed the portal had recalibrated to the home world of portal creators, but I knew the truth. Images in the portal were of Earth, but centuries in the future. Fortunately, we never tested our hypotheses given the completely unstable power reactions from the portal. It's far more likely we would suffer a tragic transportation accident like our comrades from home attempting to reach us. There were no volunteers, and eventually no further opportunities before the portal went dark and cold. In retrospect, I wish we had taken our chances. Alright, that's interesting. You'd think he'd like break down these um, doors. I'm like curious how he's like eating and staying alive. Oh wow, look at this. This looks interesting, doesn't it? It's like there's some kind of... Zigzag pan. I'm not really sure what that is, but uh, we can actually go along this wall here, so... Maybe that's not even where we need to go. So, it looks like there's a second portal that we can use to get back to Earth, but it'll take us like a hundred years into the future. Alright. And of course, of course, if you remember, we've got the subplot with the wife as well. So maybe something is going to happen in that new apartment there. It's like she died in, in the past. Wow, look at this man. Really good, really good looking game. Oh wow, there it is. Gotta love the soundtrack as well. The whole way through the game, the soundtrack has been, you know, really um, subtle, but, uh, you know, really kicking out at the appropriate times and just carrying along the story and the gameplay. Can't really say enough about that, I really enjoy it. Oh wow, there's a tree thing with a woman in it. Pretty fucking scary. I don't think I can even get over there anyway. Oh wow, no, there's not. There's another one. There's quite a few of them, it seems. Oh shit. That is not good. How did it start chasing me? I don't want to. Oh wow, wait. Is that the. Is this it? I believe that's the portal home, maybe. Let's do it. One last glory run to try and make it off this fucking planet. Alright, gotta try and make it across this little stone like bridge. Oh wow, I can actually see the, uh, the buildings in the portal. Can we do it? Looks like there's nothing stopping us right now. Look at that. Wow, that's really interesting. Check it out. I wonder if it's worth exploring around this area before we head through. I'm not entirely sure. this? Just a random rock it seems. Yeah, check it out. Look at that. Wow, 
really awesome. It's pretty big. I guess we can just maybe jump through that. Will that actually take us back? Will that be the end of the game? I'll have a quick look around to see if I can see anything glistening in the distance, maybe. One last look at this planet before we uh, take the risk. Couldn't kill myself. <laughs> like I can't see anything from this side. Doesn't look like there's anything around here. And then one thing left to do, guys. And let's head through. Let's do it. Fuck it. There it is. As I understand, you've kept your wife on life support. It sounds like you haven't been able to let her go. Actually, I did it for her. I want to give her every chance to live again. Even if I'm not here. There we are. Back on Earth, it seems. Oh wow, a lot of buildings. Wow, check that out. There it is! We actually made it back. And uh, we had a little bit of dialogue at the end there about his wife. Who apparently, when she fell down those cliffs in the, uh, the previous video, we kind of learned a bit about that and uh, how she um, apparently was dead and we had to let her go, but apparently she wasn't dead. She was uh, put on life support. And at the end there he said he wanted to give her every chance to uh, live even if he wasn't there. As in, you know, when he's uh, away exploring lifeless planets. So, you know, maybe she did, uh, maybe she did, um, uh, miraculously live that and uh, maybe she was alive. But if I'm just going a hundred years into the future, then I guess it makes no difference either way to the uh, to our uh, protagonist there. But yeah, there it is, Lifeless Planet, guys. I'm gonna say I really enjoyed that game uh, a lot. Uh, really, my type of game, just a lot of exploration. Um, you know, I had a nice little narrative to kind of carry it along, a lot of mystery to it. Had the sci-fi element, obviously, with being on a on her planet. And uh, something that really impressed me about it was pretty much how they managed to. Kind of. What will you miss most about Earth? Well, my wife first of all, and then Earth itself. All of it. She saw the beauty of this planet long before I did. You truly loved her? Of course. And if you lose someone you love, even 20 light years probably isn't enough distance to make you stop missing them. Wow, there it is. We got a little bit of a end credit scene there, I guess, with the, uh, the rotating satellite. Now, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. But, um, you know, as I was saying before, that little sequence at the end there, something that really impressed me about this game was the fact that. You know, I managed to differ the areas really well, you know, I never felt bored of the areas, you know, something different every time. And uh, yeah, I've got to say, really enjoyed it, really enjoyed my time playing that. Hope you enjoyed watching it, guys. It's uh, been a full playthrough. Uh, I believe seven episodes in total, with this being the last one. 
And uh, yeah, nice little finale there. Managed to get back to Earth, it seems. A uh, little bit of a scene at the end. And uh, yeah, there's even more to play because I didn't get all the achievements and uh, didn't even scan all the minerals. I missed a few, so maybe I'm going to go back and uh, kind of explore some of my favourite areas. But there it is, guys. Lifeless Planet. I definitely make recommend it if you like uh, narrative different sci fi exploration games. Um, you know, it's have the uh, platforming elements as well, light puzzles. Just a really great game all around. And uh, yeah, there it is, guys. I've got to say thank you for watching. Um, you know, uh, if you stuck with me for all of that, I really appreciate it. Um, you know, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see some. Like, you know, recommend me any other games. You know, I'll gladly listen, gladly play them, check them out. But yeah, there it is, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more. Um, you know, it's not always playthroughs like this. Sometimes it's just one-offs, and obviously there's more player videos with uh, Keaton and I. You know, we are Tengu Drop. But yeah, I had a lot of fun playing this one, and I uh, hope you enjoyed watching it. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.